Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Sky Exchange. We are picking up pretty much where we left off. I'm just getting a little bit of cobblestone here. Uh, but we need to get some things situated. Hello, tree. Thank you for growing right now. Um, we need to get some stuff going. We need food. Like, I am starving right now. Well, I'm not starving yet. But I'm on my way to starving, and uh, I have no food right now. So that's an issue. Also, I want to make... A hoe and a stone axe, so I can chop down these trees a bit quicker. Um, I'm not gonna worry too much about the leaves, I'll just let them decay on their own. Let's grab one more sapling and put that down there. But let's come over here. I made a little area right over here to do some gardening, to do some, some farming. And I think that'll work, because what we'll do is... We found some carrot seeds from uh, sieving all the dirt before to get the cobblestone. And what we can easily make is a watering can from Extra Utilities. Uh, and I just basically need four types of stone and a wooden bowl, which is made like that. There we go. So let's toss those in here. We'll let that all cook up put this stuff away and we can go ahead and plant these carrots and having the watering can will allow us to grow that pretty much on command so if I need food I can basically just come over there water uh, water the stuff get some carrots and then I'll be set so that should do the trick I'm also gonna need a lot more cobble because in today's episode what I want to work towards is the all-important transmutation tablet uh, which is kind of the cornerstone of project e which is basically the mod that this whole mod pack is built around so let's make our wooden our uh let's make our watering can real quick there we go and we'll fill that up you do have to fill it with water from a water source before you can actually use it and then it does actually run out of water uh, as you use it but it works it works and it looks like we completed a quest what quest did we actually complete and everything nice here we go and that gives us a fertile potion interesting I don't know what the fertile potion does I'm assuming it may like I'm assuming you use it on some of the grass and it will cause that grass to like grow things on it faster that's my assumption i don't really know for sure but let's finish watering this and then i can replant get myself some food so i don't starve to death out here oh come on stupid carrot there we go and then we can just right click it to harvest it all and we might as well plant the rest of them there we go. So let me grow a few more batches of carrots just so we have a decent food supply, and then we'll start working our way towards that transmutation tablet. All right, guys, I am back. I've got about 20 carrots. That should hold us over for at least the time being. We should be good there for a while. Uh, and I can always go and get more food if I really need to. But let's chop down this tree and let's see what we need to start getting into our transmutation tablet. Uh, so let's take a look. Transmutation tablet is going to require Philosopher's Stone, Four Stone, and then Four Obsidian. So the only hard part of that is going to be the Obsidian, I think. But there are a couple ways that we can get that, and we can get it relatively easily. So we don't have anything in our Crucible at the moment. Uh, let's put you right here. I want to kind of spread my torches out a little bit so that we don't have any areas around here that are spawnable but what we can do since crucibles work much faster when they're on top of lava instead of being on top of a torch we can do this and then if we get our buckets right here i'll be able to fill that up now i want to make sure uh, let's see. What's the best way to do this? Probably with slabs. Unless we have chisels and bits. Do we have chisels and bits? 
I do. All right, so we will we'll do that. Let's go. Uh, is it? Ah, there we go. Let's make a stone chisel. Let's. Uh, alt plane. There we go. Let's chisel all that down. That's gonna give us like a billion bits, <laughs> which isn't exactly ideal, but that's okay. And we'll just go there. Get that one, and then here we go. We want a line like that. Back to the single bit like this. And we're basically making... Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. We're basically making like a little thing around the edge of this which should prevent water from flowing. So if we do that, and then we take a bucket and do this, it'll stay. And that's what we want. So that's all good. Now, bit bag. Let's just see, what does a bit bag take? A bunch of wool. We don't have a bunch of wool. So let's just go plane, and we'll just rebuild as much of that as we can, like so, and then I'll break that down, and this is now technically a chiseled rock, <laughs> which is fine. All right, so we've got our lava in there, and I believe, oh, that doesn't work. Okay, if I grab this lava, I'm almost afraid to lose, that I'm going to lose one of my buckets here. But apparently, you can make obsidian using a lava bucket, a water bucket, and then a stone barrel. And the stone barrel we could make relatively easily. So let's go here. Let's throw eight cobblestone in there and let that cook up. And then hopefully we'll be able to use that to make the obsidian we need. Uh, also should probably get some more of that cooking. And I'm also going to need to make another portal fairly soon as well, because one great way to get a lot of EMC, at least according to the quest, uh, the better questing mod, the quest HUD, is to make a zombie pigment farm, which totally makes sense because gold is a very good source of EMC once we get into that. I'll explain EMC in more detail later for those of you who don't know what it is. Um, but basically, it'll be very useful for allowing us to get all sorts of super awesome resources. So uh, we'll want to make, we'll want to get into the nether pretty quickly and set up even just a really simple zombie pigment farm. It doesn't have to be anything super crazy, but just something to kind of get us going. There we go. Are you still... Yep. We're just using that to make what we need. Let's chop down this tree as well. And I should probably be replanting these guys, but... I keep, uh... Oh, wow. There's actually a ton of wood up here. Um... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Tell you what. Let me get this tree chopped down. Let me take a nap. Let me get everything together that I need. And I'll be back with you in a sec. All right, guys, I am back. And I just realized I'm actually going to need to cook up a little bit more smooth stone. I don't actually have enough right now. Uh, so let's put one more piece of charcoal in there and cook up eight more. Uh, I should also probably look. Is there an easier way to get smooth stone? Um, cobble. Okay, so I can transmute cobble into it which is great, but I don't have a silk touch pick, so that really wouldn't do me a whole lot of good. That really wouldn't be that useful. Um, also, this tree is going to continue raining stuff down on us for a while, I think. Uh, which is, of course, fine. Uh, but anyway, so we've got... There we go. That's what we need. Let's do this. Let's do... Oh, just kidding. Stone. There we go. Do the stone barrel, and apparently you put these together. 
Oh, nice. So that's actually the easiest way to get lava or to get obsidian for sure because it doesn't use it only uses up the lava in the bucket so yeah that's that's definitely the way to go awesome all right well that also means i need to make a whole bunch more so tell you what let me get enough obsidian to make the stuff that we want and then i'll come back to you all right guys i am back i have no idea how i managed to do it but i somehow lost my bucket that had uh the stuff in it so I, I don't know but either way i'll just make a new one it's not the end of the world um let's toss those in there we'll go oh wait a minute jk need to actually make that a bucket first stupid idiot uh, <laughs> anyway uh so we are on our way we're getting there uh let's go one two three four I'm just slowly working my way up to the obsidian. Uh, I think what happened is I was doing the crafting recipe like this, and I think I accidentally tossed my lava bucket into the lava, which obviously is less than ideal. Uh, but now we have what we need to make our transmutation tablet. So I believe it's obsidian in the corners and smooth stone around like so. Yeah, there we go. Got ourselves the super awesome transmutation tablet, which I'm gonna put right here. And then we can teach it all sorts of stuff. It'll learn all these recipes. We can just toss these things in and then whenever we need stuff, we can just pull it out. Uh, same goes for like buckets and wood and all sorts of very important stuff. So that'll make this a lot easier. Um, let's see, what else do I need to actually put in there? Probably stone tools would be a good thing. Definitely the carrot. I'll put a fertilizer potion. Uh, I'll put the fertilizer potion in there. But that should also unlock this quest for us too which will let us claim two more obsidian. Good, good, good. And I'm just gonna keep working on making obsidian until I have enough to get a nether portal, because that is something that I need. So, that's the plan. Be right back. All right, guys, I am back. So, I've got my 10 obsidian, and I actually got most of it by just pulling it out of the transmutation tablet for 64 EMC a pop. So basically, I said I was gonna explain EMC essentially how this works and project e is the mod that is built around this everything is assigned an emc value so like cobble for example being very common only has an emc value of one something very um advanced or expensive like diamond for example something rare would have a much higher emc value obsidian has an emc value of 64 so basically i can uh i can exchange stuff using this transmutation tablet for other stuff. So if I want to exchange 64 cobblestone for one piece of obsidian, I can do that. Uh, and it's a, not only a huge time saver, but it also is great for just re like carrying around resources. Um, you don't have to take up stuff in your chest. You can just basically keep stuff in a transmutation tablet and pull it out as you need it and all sorts of good stuff like that. So definitely has its benefits um now we do have apples Ooh, diminishing returns uh, spice of life i actually strongly dislike that mod i may remove it because that's one of my least favorite mods of all time um great for well yeah i, I just don't enjoy it it's just not my type of mod um anyway i digress so now what we need to do now that we've got our, um, now that we have our obsidian, now we need to work on getting, uh, resources to make a flint and steel. We need flint and we need iron. And we get flint by sieving gravel and we get iron by not sieving gravel. Uh, what? What? Oh, no, you know what it is? There's, yeah, this stuff right here. Iron ore gravel. That we get from sieving. 
just regular gravel, right? Yeah. So that's what we need to work on. We gotta get ourselves that stuff. Uh, and we can basically save ourselves a ton of time just by creating gravel. We already taught our transmutation tablet over here how to make gravel. So all I need to do is sieve it down. And when I need more, rather than doing the whole annoying thing where I put down cobble and I pulverize it into gravel and all this other kind of stuff, I can just grab gravel directly. And it's much, much easier that way. Uh, and you won't always get something, but it shouldn't take us too long to get what we need. Because then once I actually have, like, flint, for example, like right here, I now have flint. I now have the ability to make flint out of EMC if I ever need it. Same goes for all these other things. So if I need it, I can get it. And that's really the beauty of Project D. Um, but let me keep sieving down gravel. Let me start working towards the resources that we actually need to get. And I'll come back to you shortly. All right, guys, I am back. So we've got the gravel. We have some iron right here, which I can turn into broken iron ore. And I can throw that into here, which will give me an iron ingot, which means we'll unlock the ability to pull iron out of our transmutation tablet. And it should be good. There we go. So you got that. We'll toss that in here. And now we have learned how to make iron. So awesome. Let's make ourselves the flint and steel. Grab some obsidian. I think I'm actually going to make a slightly larger nether portal. We'll make it three by three by three. That way it's just that. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll just do it that way. Um, where do I want to put this? Maybe. I'm thinking over here. Let's move these. Do I not have a pick? Oh, apparently I don't have a stone pick. Okay, well, easily remedied. Pick that up, there we go. And let's say right here is where our nether portal's gonna go. Let me grab a little bit of dirt just to use as like, quote unquote, guide blocks. There we go. We'll put that there, one, two, three. Beautiful. And then behind it, I'm gonna want some sort of block as well. So probably one of these. Let's also teach this how to make planks. Good, good, good. And let's just put you back here because I never ever want to accidentally fall out of the world coming out of a nether portal. That would stink. There we go. That'll do. And nether. Nether portal. It's all good. Uh, ooh. I didn't know that these meshes had durability. That's interesting. Didn't, that's something I have now learned. Good to know. Okay, let's put this down. That's really loud, and it's gonna be really annoying. I may end up moving my nether portal for that reason, but we'll, we'll hold on to it for now. Uh, okay. So, let's grab some cobble. Let's grab a fair amount of it. Uh, let's also grab some of these. Uh, I don't need that much. Let's grab 15 iron. Because I want to make a couple hoppers for, basically, we're going to be making a, a mob farm, a zombie pigman farm. It's mostly going to be a manual farm, to be honest, but uh, we're going to need hoppers for it. So let's do that, like so. And then let's teach this how to make hoppers, just for future reference. And then lastly, I want... Um, two of those. Make a chest. Might as well teach this how to make chests, too. There we go. And hopefully this will be enough. I'm going to put this fertile potion in here. I don't know if I actually need it for anything. Uh, I'm just going to hold on to it for the time being. But let's head into the nether and see what the nether looks like. It might be really bad. We're going to find out. 
All right, so we spawned on a very small little platform. We're going to wall the back of this off, like so. And that actually gave us a quest completion. Extra chili music paper. All right, we'll claim it. I don't know what I need that for, but whatever. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Because we don't want any mobs. We want to. We need basically an AFK spot where the mobs will be a certain distance away from us. Uh, or they won't spawn properly, and that's obviously no good. I really should have brought a crafting table with me. I'm going to go do that real quick. There we go. Um... Let's do this. We'll go like so. Learn crafting table. Okay, good. So that's all acceptable. I'm going to put you down right here. And we're going to make some slabs. Like that. And I'm going to slab this area right here. And right here. So that nothing can actually spawn on these little chunks. Like that. There we go. Good. Now, right here, I want a chest, although I actually want another chest. I keep forgetting things. I'll need one double chest. I'm trying to think of, <laughs> I'm trying to think of all the stuff that I'm going to need for this, but it's okay. There we go. And we'll try to come up with some sort of a killing mechanism, but this is just a super early game farm for now. We'll come up with something better later on. So right here, we'll put that down. And then I'm going to extend this out, and we'll run a hopper and a hopper, like so. And if I put a slab there, can I still open this? No, I can't, because this is 1.10, which is fine. All right, now, let's bring that out and that out. Uh, that means I'm probably going to need... Stairs above the chest. I'll need some sort of something for sure. Let's put that. If I do that, is this open? Yes, then it opens. Good. So we'll do this. So this is where they're going to stand. So I can kill them and hopefully get all of their drops. That's that's the hope. Uh, so now let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So that is going to be the length of our platform gonna have basically a let's see what would this be nine on either side it'll be big <laughs> it's gonna be big one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight did I count this right I feel like I counted this wrong I don't know let me work on getting the platform made guys I'll come back to you in just a minute all right, guys, I am back, and I think I've got the mob farm all done. Um, we also had a little bit of good fortune. A chicken actually spawned in there, and a gas. So we now have gunpowder, feathers, and raw chicken as things that we can get. And if I cook that raw chicken uh, in here, that'll come out as cooked chicken, and then I can actually throw that directly into the transmutation tablet 
like so. And I can use that to make chicken as food, which is great. Uh, also, we've got this music paper. I don't know what that's for, but whatever. Um, so, let's go and make ourselves a stone sword. Uh, maybe even a couple of those. Let's put all this stuff away. I do want to teach it flint and steel. Um, and let's put most of this away. Grab a pickaxe just in case. And let's try out this mob farm. It's not a great mob farm. Um, it's not an awesome design. It's not amazingly automated. There are fans. Uh, or... Well, actually, maybe we don't have fans. Do we have any sort of a vacuum standing stone? I don't know if there's anything that can, like, collect items automatically from a ranged area. I don't see, like... Well, we do have a transfer node for items, so that might be an option. Do that with a world interaction upgrade, and I think then it can suck up items. Do we still have world interaction upgrades? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Unless they're called something different. No, doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. But anyway, if I hit this guy, these guys are all going to come charging at me. <laughs> and they'll just chill here. And I can just whack at them. And I'm completely safe here. Completely and totally safe. Also, they're really loud. Um, let's turn... Hostile creatures down to about half the volume they're normally at. There we go. But I can just sit here forever and just work on killing these guys. And the hoppers will pick up some of their drops. I won't get them all until I have more hoppers. But it's going to be a great source of EMC after I kill some of these. So let me kind of try and finish off as many of these pigmen as I can, and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back, and I've got... I got all this stuff from clearing this out once. Now, this isn't exactly ideal. Um, I did get a bunch of experience, too, which is great. But there was a bunch of drops in here. All this stuff was not uh, available. Like, it didn't make it into the hoppers. Which, to be honest, that is something that I was fully anticipating. I didn't expect most of the drops to make it in. But, we did get a bunch of, like, gold swords and stuff like that. And these things are worth a lot of EMC, all things considered. So, let's grab the stuff that we did get. And let's take it back, and we can trade that in for more hoppers and all sorts of other good stuff like that. So, this will be, this will be great. This is going to be a great source of EMC for us. Um, and just to kind of, you know, whenever we need something, we can come over there. Look at this. Just like that, I'm up to 31,000. We've also got gold ingots, gold nuggets, rotten flesh. Uh, these items do not have an EMC value, so I'm just going to equip them. Might as well. I can toss that in there. Zombie hearts. That drops a decent amount of EMC. Um, I don't know what I need them for, but I'll toss those in as well. I mean, you guys kind of get the idea. At least I hope so. But that gives us quite a bit. That's a lot of EMC. So now I can make a bunch of hoppers, and I can return a bunch of these when I'm done with them. So let's just take a look here. I don't know how big of a killing area I'm actually going to need... Or of a, I should say, collection area rather than killing area. But I figure if I go back to here. And then out. Uh, maybe three extra in every direction. So if I clear out like this area and just replace all of these with hoppers, that should be plenty. Plenty of space where I'll be able to get all the drops. Maybe not all the experience, but I don't really need the experience as badly as I need the drops. And I want to make sure that once this farm is done, I don't have to go in here <laughs> to go collect stuff. Because obviously when you make the pigmen mad, uh, it could be worse. But once you kill them all off, 
uh, and they don't have anywhere to spawn, it works. So, it's all good. Um, so now we need to run these, like so. And we'll just feed these ones in going that way. And I think I'm going to have just enough hoppers. This is a very vanilla solution <laughs> to the problem, but that's okay. That's all right. Okay, there we go. So now... Now we should be good. And if I chill back here... A ton of those guys should spawn in pretty quickly. Eh, not that quickly. That's, I mean, that's the only valid spawning area, so if I, like, AFK over here for a minute for them to all spawn... We should see some results, I would think. Um... Oh, that was a mistake. Uh, let's do this. Let's just pillar up right quick. Oh yeah, they're spawning in. They're getting there. It's not perfect, but... It's something. And it's a good way for us to get EMC. So I think it'll be okay. Um, but now that we have a super awesome farm... Guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this episode right here. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.